afternoon, I was perusing the Encyclopedia of Country Living, 10th edition, 35th anniversary, when I came across a very unusual entry that I found to be completely intriguing. It turns out that you can seed wool into a very specific kind of tree, a Norway spruce, and if you water it correctly on the right days, it will grow hand-spun socks. Would you like to see in the book the totally authentic page in the book where it says that? Would you like to see? You should just trust me. I don't know why you don't trust me. Encyclopedia of Country Living by Carla Emery. And here in the section on not herbs and flavorings. No, 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 no. Here. Tree, vine, bush, and bramble. Chapter 6. Look at these people. Goofy people. Round about... Here, after sugar maple, we come to this page. This totally authentic, for some reason, in a different type font page. Instructions for growing hand spun socks on Norway spruce. It's really just two steps. You seed the wool onto the tree, and then you water until socks start growing. So we're here today to see, to investigate how it's been going. There's been a couple places where I seeded some wool and then I followed the instructions on watering. And we're just gonna go check them out. You wanna check them out? Because you totally believe me about the completely authentic page in the book? This is our Norway spruce tree. It's very large and majestic and you can't see it all right now. You know it's a Norway spruce tree because see, it's a spruce tree. It has single needles that come out of the stem and they go all the way around. Specifically on Norway spruces, you can see the branch comes out here and then all the little branches hang down like water dripping off of a waterfall. That's how you can tell it's a Norway spruce because the main branch and then the little clusters of needles come down like that. Our Norway spruce is very large. It has been in our driveway for quite a long time. It's a very majestic and wonderful tree. And now we're gonna look. I'm gonna take you to the places where I've seeded some wool inside this tree, deep inside this tree, and we're gonna see if it's been paying off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, do you see this? What? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's not a sock. Holy cow, but it's yarn. It's hand spun yarn. Look at this. Well, I have to be careful. I don't want it to fall off before it's ripe. But look at it. It looks like a true three ply yarn. It feels like a nice down wool. Oh my goodness. It's working. It's working. My friends, it's working. Okay, we're gonna have to remember this spot. We'll come back to it. I don't know, I think it probably needs about two more weeks. There's another place where I also put some wool. We'll see how it looks. The thing about it is it said, well, I don't think you could see it on the page, but it said it works best if you go underneath needles. If you look like underneath, nope. I don't see any there. <gasps> what? What? Oh my goodness, look at this. Does that look like a sock? What? That looks like a heel. Okay. I did a lot of reading about this and the book said that when it's ready, it'll just come off. Don't, not to pull it too soon. You shouldn't have to yank hard, but if you just pull gently, 
The sock should slip right off the stem. I'm pulling as gentle as I can. I don't want to pull off a half-ripe sock. Oh my goodness, that would be crazy. What? It's coming off! Oh my god, if my neighbors are walking down the street right now. Okay. Look. That looks like a cuff. Oh my goodness, and that's a toe. What? That's a fully formed sock. I found a sock in my tree. I grew a sock in a tree. It smells like a sock. I can tell you this about it too. I seeded it with white-faced woodland wool, and that's the kind of sock it grew into, which is an excellent down wool. Down wools are great for socks because they resist felting. It doesn't have to be super washed and it's not going to felt when your foot rubs and sweats on it. I'm pretty excited. We'll check back on that other sock, on that other one, the yarn, in a few weeks. But in the meantime, experiment confirmed.